All right, I think I nailed this thumbnail. Now let's get into the actual review. All right, let's get the Boya BM3032 out of the box. So first thing you find out is there is a instruction manuals in English. Um, I personally feel like this doesn't really need instruction manuals, but there it is. There is also a guarantee car, a very nice windshield cover, um, also known as dead cat, and the microphone itself. It comes with a pretty sick phone cover. Pretty easy to take it out, some put it back in, and it also offers some protection to the microphone. Here is the battery compartment that takes two AA batteries. In my opinion, that's pretty convenient. There is a cold wire cable that is permanently attached to the microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Here we have the, the low cut filter, the boost and the power on off button. Pretty simple to use. There is also in the box a carrying bag. Now this doesn't really offer much protection but you know it probably protects from scratches if you're planning to throw your microphone in your backpack uh, it might get scratched, so this probably helps for carrying it around. At least it's better than nothing. All right, I'm done with the unboxing, and now I have the, the microphone mounted on my Canon EOS R with a 16 to 35 millimeter f4L IS, and I have an adapter. You can see this camera is not small, definitely not small, and so is the microphone. The microphone is rather big, but to be honest, it kind of looks a lot like a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, at least in size. But it's still having rechargeable batteries. These have two AA batteries, which in a way I see that as an advantage. Um, we can probably test a little bit the, the off-axis rejection right away because there's a lot of people. There's some people roaring behind me. And oh I'm shaking because this camera is heavy. There's a lot of people riding bicycles. And at the beautiful Xinlin Bay in Shaman. Uh, you can see this place is just incredible. And it's a sunny, beautiful day. What better? day to be testing this microphone the reason i adore by the way is because you know there is no better way that to review an on-camera shotgun microphone than blogging so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today i'm gonna be actually blogging all right so this place is beautiful i'm now riding my x-way x1 pro and blogging at the same time very reminiscent of what casey nice i used to do back in the day when he lived in new york city now this is a much different environment, here it's windy, even if I'm not skating it's windy, so I guess this could be a good test for the, to see how good the phone cover works when it's windy. And basically uh, the wind is kind of like going straight into me, which means might not affect that much the mic, but just in case, I'm going to turn this a little bit to the side. Um, just in case it is too windy, I always have this included windshield um, cover that it came on the box. So I'm gonna actually stop and try that out now because I can see it's pretty windy, especially while riding the scale. All right, now I got the windshield on and it's probably gonna sound a lot better. I don't think there was much wind noise before. I just checked quickly on the camera, even so I can hear very well, but uh, I'm probably gonna have to listen to all this when I'm back home and I'm editing this video, but so far so good. And I'm, I believe with the dead cat, uh, it's gonna be even better. All right, are you thinking what I'm thinking? With the dead cat sounds worse, but that's because I was riding an electric skateboard at 30 kilometers per hour over the ocean. So it was very, very windy, a lot more windy than I saw it was. But nonetheless, um, I feel like the wind have a natural sound. It doesn't kind of clip or distort so much the audio. So in a way, it's kind of like a natural way to include the, the you know, if there is wind, you might want to record a little bit of the wind noise. That being said, um, I think it performs decently good. By the way, the dead cat is so well made and it's, it's specifically designed to work with this microphone. So you can see it have the shape of the, of the mic. And you know, the, the windshield cover, also known as dead cat, this couldn't be more right. This this looks like a dead cat. Actually, leaves a lot of hairs, <laughs> like when you touch a cat and you have all the hairs all over the clothes. Uh, that only happened just the first day. The next day is perfectly fine. Carry on. That's precisely how this is right now. It's leaving hair all over me. 
a lot of family and people here. I tell you what, I think this is time to to put this camera down and get some cinematic footage with the Insta360. I made it to where I wanted to come, which is the I don't know the the boat club, something like that. It's like a like a place where youngsters get to learn how to row, I guess. You know, I, I live in China and here it's very common, especially where in this city, Xiamen, where I live. Um, there is this race called the Dragon Ball Race. I'll show you in just a second. Basically, there are all these long, long boats where many people get to race together. You can see that. And it's really cool, actually. And the kids here seems to be all day doing that. And, and the scenery here is fantastic. It's really, really good. I mean, the sun sets right there. Let's see if you can see it. But you can see it because then I'm gonna go all black. But yeah, the sun's setting right there and oh, man, it looks beautiful. So the sun is finally setting down and here are some of the most beautiful sunsets in Xiamen. Period. This is magnificent. Just look behind me. And, and you get the, the bay, the birds are singing. I don't know, you can hear the birds singing. How good is the off-axis rejection on, on this mic? Can you hear the birds? They're right over there. That's where you shouldn't be listening too much. But just to prove the off-axis rejection on this mic, let's point it at the birds. So it's 90 degrees from me and I will keep talking. Quiet now, so I bring it back to me. So I don't know how was the off-axis rejections on this microphone. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Um, by the way, I'm also gonna test when I put the camera, I mean the lens, pointing in the other direction. So 180 degrees from me, and let's see how that sounds like. So let's say if I'm vlogging, I'm gonna be holding the camera. My hands are right here, so I'm holding the camera right now. And this is how it sounds when I talk on the back of the microphone. Um, always talking about the same intensity. Oh, this cute little dog, have a bell. All right, and then I'm gonna bring it back, pointing at me. There we go. Uh, there is one more thing that I need to test with this mic, and that is gonna be the the, the boost. So it's a, have a plus 20 decibel boost. Let me take a look. There you go. I'm gonna talk a little bit softer because I'm sure that a plus 20 decibel boost is probably gonna make my voice. All right, I clearly messed it up here because Basically, I got the boost on the mic, but I did not adjust the level of my camera, and I was having um, the camera set to manual audio level. So, of course, the audio clip. So, I'm gonna do that test here again uh, with the boost uh, plus 20 decibels and minus 20 decibels, and let's hear how that sounds like. So, I adjusted um, the levels on the camera, so now the audio is not clipping. So, this is how the plus 20 decibels boost uh, on the microphone sounds like. Uh, I remind you, I know in a more or less controlled environment. I know my living room, but there is plenty of furniture. The fridge has been turned off. There is no air conditioner. Windows are closed. Um, so that you should kind of 
decently good. By the way, I have the microphone really close to my mouse at the moment, so you can really hear how this audio actually sounds like. During the unboxing, the voiceover, it was made the same way, but without the plus 20 uh, decibels boost. Now let's test out how the minus 10 decibel sounds like. Okay, this is now how it sounds at minus 10 decibels in the in the mic. I have to readjust the levels yet again, so I have to boost the preamps on my camera, my Canon EOS R. Um, yeah, th basically this is how um, you want to set it up for these kind of situations that I'm doing right now in which I'm talking directly into the microphone and you don't want any other noise to be picked up, you know, environmental noise or whatever. As a matter of fact, there is quite a noisy outdoors. I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, this is how is the minus 10 decibel sounds like. And now um, what I'm going to try out is I'm going to try to get the air conditioner running. Come in, I have it right behind me. So now that should make this rumbling noise, kind of like the wind noise or kind of like the engine of, uh, oh my God, this is cold. And in winter, <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing this sacrifice for you guys so you can hear how the low cut filter actually work. So the low cut filter is su supposed to get rid of these noises like air conditioner, the car engine or airplane engine or even wind. Um, so that's what I'm doing and testing the air conditioner freezing to death here for you guys. So you better give me a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. So let's try now with the load cut filter. At the moment it's set to zero. Let's get it down to 75. So basically, if I'm not mistaken, the air conditioner is in the same direction as my mouse. So it's right behind me. So there is no rejection by having the microphone uh, or the air conditioner on this one of the sides of the mic. That's where it will be the rejection. So it's kind of like directly into the microphone. But that's the idea to, to test the low-cut filter. See if, if we get rid of that. Can you hear the noise of the air conditioner? So let's bring it down. Uh, let's bring it up to 150 low-cut filter. You can also call it high pass filter. In, in which basically the highs get through, the, the loads get cut. So this is at the highest level of the low cut filter at 150. Um, I don't know how that, that sounds like. I'm gonna give you a little bit of room noise now, so you get an idea. And I'll bring it down to zero again. Right there. Can you hear any difference? Anyway, if you can or, or you cannot, you can let me know in this comment section down below. So I'm going to turn off the air conditioner because it's pretty cool. In conclusion, the Boya BM3032, what do I truly think about this microphone? Uh, I think it's, it's fantastic. Uh, it's basically uh, like a very affordable version of the Video Mic Pro Plus. Uh, with some advantages and disadvantages. Um, I believe like the shock mount is is like, a little bit stronger and smaller. Uh, maybe it doesn't do such a great work as the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, but I find it to be more convenient. Um, the whole microphone feels very well built, very well put together. I'm not afraid to throw that in, in my backpack without the bag or anything. So that's a, a big plus because I think this microphone was designed for bloggers, for people who want to go out and adventure out and, you know, you're not going to take this in your backpack and just carry on with your life. You're not going to be babysitting this microphone, I guess. At least not. That's not what I will do. Um, another thing, when it comes to audio quality, and that's probably the big question, right? Uh, this costs $100 versus 200 or 200 something dollars that the video um, mic pro plus costs. And you say, wow, I could save a lot of money. How about the audio quality? In my personal opinion, and I know some people is going to give me a hard time in the comments, this may sound actually better. I feel like it sounds very similar, but here is the scene where I think is actually better. It's the Video Mic Pro Plus. Let's just call it Raw from now on because that's a pretty long name. Uh, basically have these very rich lows that you might like it, but if you don't like it, well, that's, that's not the way professionals record audio. You want to have a more natural sound, and that's what this microphone does very well. The sound is natural. It have good lows, it have good highs, uh, have good mids. I feel like the Rode microphone tends to be too low, and 
it, it depends who's using the microphone. It doesn't maybe an, an advantage and sometimes it's a disadvantage. This is a natural sound microphone. It sounds very natural. That's how my voice really sounds like. Um, so in a way that could be considered to be better. The off-axis rejection is about the same as the road. It's very, very similar. Um, it's also uh, something that I notice is when you put the microphone the other way around, so basically, so I don't break it. So you put it like this, you can still hear my voice decently good, but this is when the off-axis rejection works very well, which is like 90 degrees from the source of the audio. Let's get this back on the table. Sorry about all that noise. Um, so in conclusion, this is a, a great microphone and, and, a, and a great price because a hundred dollars, that's, that's kind of fill that gap that there was in, in between the, the cheaper microphones out there and, and the more expensive microphones like the DTD True Pro the raw video mic pro plus and and then there is the video micro and kind of like nothing on between well this is right in between at least on price and on quality is actually very very close to the video mic pro plus to the dtd pro it is it's, it's a it's kind of like a pro on camera shotgun microphone um i think they actually mess it up with the name of the microphone bm 3032 that's not very attractive they could have called it the boya pro shotgun or something like that because it actually performs really really good all right so i'm not gonna be rambling that long this time uh let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the audio on this microphone uh is this something that will you consider buying and i'm gonna add in some amazon links in the description they're not affiliate i never have affiliate links on my channel because you know you're free to buy whatever you like from whatever shop you like. But I will share some links on where you can find this microphone pretty soon. If you didn't find it yet, well, you will find it maybe the next day. I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and I'll see you in the next video.